Iranian state TV claims that their forces seized a foreign oil tanker with 12 crew members who they accuse of smuggling oil. The U.S. is reportedly getting ready to send 500 troops to Saudi Arabia in a new show of force. And Iran's foreign minister said today his country has was a few minutes away from war with the United States last month over the prior drone incident. Here now, General Jack Keane, chairman of the Institute for the Study of War and a Fox News senior strategic analyst. Um, General, good to have you here tonight. So what was shooting down that drone the right thing to do? Was it justified? And now what? Well, all of the commanders on the scene can make that judgment. They give them warnings and they get within, you know, our violations of our own protections. They, they've got the right to do it. You know, to be quite frank about it, the Iranians obviously are feeling the weight of these crippling sanctions in a way that I've never seen for 39 years in dealing with them. And their response, as much as they're determined and used to be somewhat disciplined, I find them incredibly inept in terms of what they're doing. I mean, it starts with the, the tankers. They sabotage six of them. And we caught them with indisputable evidence on all of them. And it absolutely backfired in their face. They had a tactical command to shoot down an American drone without the authorization of their leaders, claimed it was in their airspace but couldn't prove it. Our president didn't respond to it. And we wind up on a moral high ground and the Iranians lose face over it. They're trying to retaliate against the Brits for taking a tanker away from them for good reason, violating sanctions. Mm -hmm. And they get humiliated by the Brits with a warship in the area. And it's a stunning, embarrassing humiliation. Sarif is in New York City, and he's talking to people about, you know, I'm willing to put ballistic missiles on a table as a negotiating tool. We start to respond to it. 24 hours later, he says, no, no, I, I didn't really mean that. Th this is extraordinary what is happening. I think it, my take on it, Martha, is an indication of the pressure, the absolute pressure that the Iranians mm -hmm. are feeling here. Well, and they you know, say that they feel like these sanctions hurt the people of Iran uh, and not the leadership, you know, that, that they are, are able to weather this fairly well. Uh, what, what do you say to that? Is that an effective tool? Oh, it's so effective. I mean, high inflation rates, high unemployment. Yes, it's affecting the people. Food shortages, power outages, growing civil unrest. They blame the regime. They're not blaming America for what for what has taken place. The, the leadership in Iran is back on their heels, literally, for the first time that I have ever seen. And what we need to do is not overreact, be patient, because the strategy we have in place is working. And we don't need to go up the ladder of escalation with the Iranians in a way that they would love to take us there. We have to be careful about what we're doing. Our strategy, our offensive strategy is working and don't fall mm -hmm. into a provocation trap that they're setting for us. We'll see what comes next. General Jack Keane, always good to see you, sir. Thank you very much. Yeah, good talking to you, Mark. You too.